turbo surge is bad. When it happens, it's like riding a bucking bronco. Oh, Jesus. Here's a stock turbo from a 24 Duramax. Normally, it inhales air into the wheel, compresses it, and sends it to the engine. Surge occurs when you're not moving much air, but you're asking for a lot of boost pressure. In other words, the air is so thin that the wheel loses its grip. When the pressure is greater in here than what the wheel can support, it bursts backwards through the wheel and all the way out to the filter. To reduce surge, GM engineered this feature. Air flows through this channel, is cushioned by this cavity, and is turned around and sent back into the wheel. Once we perfected this feature on our Monster Ram, we opened up the outlet and massaged the interior to outflow the stock unit. But it's not just about airflow. We computer modeled and iterated the hell out of it to perfect the geometry. The goal was to present the airflow with uniform velocity and pressure to the face of the compressor wheel. This makes the turbo more efficient and responsive. And by the way, you need a full engine lab to develop one of these. If all you know is flow, you've missed the target. The result is better response, quicker acceleration, and greater speed on grade without turbo killing compressor surge. And that's where we kick everybody's ass.